This week on The Wire, housing sentiment rises, vacancy rates fall nationally, and JobKeeper extension to benefit property. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's get into our top story for the week, housing sentiment rises. So home buyers became more optimistic about the property market in June after COVID-19 restrictions began to ease, and that's according to the ME Quarterly Property Sentiment Report. Sentiment rose by six percentage points to 35%. Now this was still below the high of 39% recorded in the first three months of 2020. Consumers were also less concerned about how COVID-19 would affect property values with the rating falling nine percentage points to 55%. Those expecting house prices to fall in the next 12 months dropped by 10 percentage points to 31%. Encouragingly, first home buyers are emboldened with over half planning to buy in the next 12 months, and that's up nine percentage points from the previous quarter. ME General Manager for Home Loans, Andrew Bartolo, says sentiment started to turn around as soon as restrictions were lifted across most states and territories. Bartolo says the rebounding confidence is a natural reaction to improved COVID, improving COVID-19 case numbers when we conducted the survey. And now let's move on to our next story, vacancy rates fall nationally. So the national vacancy rate has fallen to 2.2% in June, and that's down from 2.3% a year ago, and that's according to SQM Research. This was shored up by a 0.3% fall in the month between May and June this year. All capital cities recorded declines in vacancy rates in June with good results noted in Perth and Darwin. Perth's vacancy rate has been on a steady downward trajectory all year, falling from 3.2% in June 2019 to 1.5% in June 2020. The pattern in Darwin is similar, the vacancy rates dropping from 3.1% to 1.8% over the same time period. Vacancies in Sydney fell from 4% in May to 3.8% in June, although they remain higher than their level in June 2019 when they were 3.5%. Sydney is now the only capital city with a vacancy rate above 3%, while five capital cities have vacancy rates below 1.5%. The fall in Melbourne was minimal, only 0.1% over the month, uh, with the June 2020 rate of 3% higher than the rate of 2% a year ago. Vacancies in Brisbane, Adelaide and Canberra also all recorded small improvements. Now guys, for our final story of the week, JobKeeper extension to benefit property. So the Property Investment Professionals of Australia and Master Builders Association, both key players in the property and construction landscapes, have praised the federal government for extending the JobKeeper packages. The federal government has announced that the JobKeeper program will be extended until the end of March next year, but with reduced fortnightly payments and stricter eligibility, eligibility criteria. PIPA Chairman Peter Kulzos likens the impact of the coronavirus to the GFC a decade ago and says, because similar initiatives were applied during the GFC, Australia avoided a recession by keeping people employed. He says the extension, as well as the continuance of mortgage repayment pauses, will benefit homeowners, landlords, and tenants who continue to need financial support over the coming months. Danita Warren, CEO of the Master Builders Association, agrees, saying, there's no doubt that JobKeeper continues to be a lifeline for thousands of small builders and tradies, as well as many in the building supply chain. The continuing easier access for sole traders to access the scheme is also important. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot guys, bye for now.